Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Rider Aviation. Look at all the snow New York just got dumped on. I actually had to start my car like every winter and wait for all the snow to melt off the windshield, so that's going to be a pain. But today we're going to be going to Starbucks and we're going to do a quick study excursion. I'm actually studying for my commercial uh, pilot airplane written exam. Uh, every, all my other rents are taken care of. They're out of the way as you guys saw in the other videos. So I'm just going to take you with me and you guys are going to go on a little adventure with me to Starbucks and see you know, what I'm exactly doing to study for my commercial written. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys that. Alright guys, we're at the Starbucks, got the nice tea going here, and we're just going to do all the categories combined on the Shepard Air software, and we're going to do about 150 questions just to, you know, try and go through it. I have my test booked already for this Wednesday, so uh, I've been getting pretty good, uh, you know, practice test scores, about 94, so hopefully we can get a uh, actual test score about that, and I also here have my... Uh, Piper Archer training supplement that I've been looking over just because I did train in a Cessna aircraft so I'm actually switching to the Piper low wing. Some things are a little bit different especially I am a steam gauge guy and I'm moving to a glass cockpit so it's going to be a big difference there but yeah guys. Alright guys I'll show you some more questions in the Shepard Air software. Now this question says before beginning any flight under IFR the pilot in command must become familiar with all available information concerning that flight. In addition the pilot must a. Be familiar with the runway lengths at airports intended use, weather reports, fuel requirements, and alternatives available if the flight plan cannot be completed. And B. List an alternate airport on the flight plan and confirm adequate takeoff and landing performance at the destination airport. And C. Be familiar with all instrument approaches. Just like I know you should, I cannot give you everything. You know I wish I could. I'm so high at the moment. I'm so caught up in this Yeah, we're just young, dumb, and broke But we still got love to get While we're young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke Alright guys, so I just got home from the Starbucks and the studying Just knocked out 150 questions And I also took a practice test But I just waited to get home to show you guys the result So, just so you guys also know Shepard Air is the only thing I'm using to study for my written uh, you know, like I said, it's very well. It's what I did for my IRA and double I exam. So definitely, uh, you know, check out Shepard Air. I already showed you guys the preview of it, so it's definitely worth your while. So anyway, I just took the practice test and got a 96. So from what I've seen from all my Shepard Air studying compared to my actual writtens and the practice tests I take on here, the scores are very similar. So I was getting like 95s on my practice test on Shepard Air for my IRA and I got a 93. So I mean that's still really awesome. And I also got my written endorsement from Shepard Air. If you don't have an instructor available, they will actually send you an endorsement that you just print out and present to the flight place wherever you're taking your written exam and they'll give you a nice endorsement. And I have my test scheduled for Wednesday, so I'm very excited for that. So yeah, there's that. And a countdown is also ticking to when I leave for Florida to start ATP. Uh, these months have been flying so fast. Um, I got all my bags packed here. I'm all set. Just got to throw it in the car. And right now we have counting 16 days, 7 hours and 39 minutes. Let's go baby, let's go, let's do this. I'm so excited to start ATP, you know, so many opportunities. So also got my aviation life hat going on here. So obviously got to rep that down in Florida, but yeah guys. 
Alright guys, so that does it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what I was doing to study for my commercial written exam and all that good stuff. Um, you know, I did that little nice Starbucks excursion over there. So, I will be also making a video this Thursday or Friday and posting it, showing you guys how I did on the commercial written exam because my exam is this Wednesday, and uh, which is the 3rd of, you know, 2018. Happy New Year, by the way, guys, you know. Um, so, I'll be posting a video, you know, like I said, just uh, showing how close the questions were to the Shepard Air software. Um, you know, my personal thoughts on the test. It is actually a hundred multiple choice questions on the commercial pilot written exam compared to the private pilot, the IRA, and the CFII, I believe, were all 60 questions. So it's 40 more questions, so it's one one question is one point. So I'm going to go for an 85 or higher. Hopefully I can do that because of my Shepherd error. You know, my practice tests I've been getting, as you just saw, I got a 96 on that one. So hopefully I can get a very similar score. That'd be awesome. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, this Thursday or Friday, and uh, happy holidays. Holidays, and I hope everybody had a nice new year. Thanks for watching Rider Aviation.